do. Or do they? Boomerangs as we know them today are hobbyist toys and sporting items popular for their amazing ability to return to the user after being thrown. But was this always the case? No. In fact, during the original creation of the boomerang, they were strictly weapons used to hunt animals and to fight battles. Back then, most of them did not even return. You only had one shot to precisely throw and strike down your prey. Sounds pretty intense, right? But the use of weapons were key for many of the ancient peoples throughout the world. Speaking of the past, the age of the boomerang might surprise some of you. The oldest known boomerang dates back 30,000 years. It was found in the Carpathian Mountains in Poland, and it was crafted out of a mammoth's tusk. Artifacts of boomerangs have been found nearly everywhere throughout history, from King Tut's tomb to the bottom of a swamp in Holland. But when you or me think of boomerangs, we're probably thinking of Australia. Yes, like kangaroos and Steve Irwin, the boomerang has cemented itself as an icon of Australian culture. Decorated in colorful designs, boomerangs are a must-have souvenir for tourists all across Australia. But for the indigenous people, they represent something much more personal. The Aboriginal people continue to carve boomerangs by hand and use them for hunting, preserving the sacredness of their ancient purpose. Now, I know some of you are still wondering how a boomerang returns. Well, it breaks down into physics and aerodynamics. First, I want you to consider the shape of the boomerang. It looks like two connected wings. When you throw the boomerang, each wing moves forward at slightly different speeds due to the difference in rotation. As one wing moves with a forward motion, the other wing moves against it. This imbalance of forces means that the energy of the forward motion is thrown off by the bottom wing, which, due to the shape of the boomerang, causes the trajectory to curve back towards the user. Now, even if you know the science, it's still notoriously hard to throw and catch a boomerang, and it takes a whole lot of practice. What about you guys? Have you ever tried to throw a boomerang before? Do you guys have any other questions about projectile motion? Let us know in the comments. And speaking of questions, where's the boomerang I threw earlier? <laughs>